for me, it's kind of difficult to meditate in the sense of actually meditating. Like for me, it's easier, I don't know, to do some arts and crafts. And I feel like this is my meditation. Um, I've tried a couple of times of listening and like following and I keep on getting um, this point that I wanna check my phone, I'm thinking about something else. And I don't know, I feel like I'm either I'm not there yet or like I'm doing something wrong or I don't know. It feels like I'm not doing it right and then I'm stopping and I feel like meditation like for now, the best thing is having a walk or like doing arts and crafts, something like that. What are you? What are like your thoughts? Is it like is it also considered meditation or not? One, I I, I would like <laughs> to acknowledge that it's awesome uh, work and, and recognition and awareness that you that you have. Uh, definitely, the, those activities, the painting, the the walking, are also great just as great and you know I, I would I would highlight and say that you know continue doing those even those are also mind I, I would classify them more as under mindful activities but they do have similar benefits probably with meditation in that I feel like yeah mindfulness is something I'm trying to yeah in in regard to what you were saying about when you sat down and practiced the meditation all that you were mentioning and, uh, you know, as um, this things that are distractions and feeling if you want to check your phone or get up, et cetera, or that you may be doing it, quote, wrong, those are actually good, you know, that's, that's good progress, like it meaning you're doing it correctly. Um, <laughs> It's, it, it, I know it, it's funny because it, it's, I had similar questions when I was first beginning and that's simply because it's, it's a, it's a new um, practice. Let's say you're, you're choosing to sit down, um, you know, one of the first times or first many times you're choosing to, to sit the body down and to say, no, I'm not going to get up. I'm going to sit here and focus on uh, the thoughts that arise in my head, the breath and the sensations on my body. So it's, it's, it's a new thing. So the body is so familiar with doing these other things that it's going to try and get you up to check your phone, to go to the restroom, to make food, whatever it may be. The, the practice of the meditation is just to recognize that and not act on it. So to cultivate that space between and acknowledge or recognize, recognize meaning have an awareness of that thought or tendency or reaction to check the phone. And then being able to kind of separate yourself from that thought, being the observer of that thought, so that you're, you're also becoming more of a chooser of what you engage in. So that thought, let's say, I, man, I want, you're, you know, you're sitting down, I wanna check my phone, you're beginning to now you're aware of it and rather than immediately act on it and go grab your phone you're able to create a little bit more space and realize no i can i, I don't have to entertain or engage in that thought i can you know my phone can wait i can check my social media i can check the messages you know once i'm finished but i'm sitting here for x amount of minutes and that's what i'm going to do that that really begins to now build a level of presence and not being re reactive to uh, things in, in our environment or how we had been doing things. It's really building um, a, a level of observation and control in what you place your attention on. And, and with that, building a presence and uh, awareness. One of the um, uh, realizations to have is that it's you're not doing it wrong. There's it's not like a, a, a good or bad or a wrong or right, but it's 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 just really kind of working on familiarizing and, and coming up against uh, oneself. 
and, and building that practice.